Hey man, you ever look in the flatter? The, the staircase of disbelief, so we're going to tie here nihilism to flat earth, right? If you consider the ability for people, this is what you're talking about, the ability for people to grapple with very controversial parapolitical ideas, or with, with hugely alternative perspectives on, let's say, historical events, uh, globalist politics, um, metaphysical ideas, just this, this sense that the great holographic illusions of reality must be encountered if you want to know what's going on. And there's, there's different levels of that. And for me, a useful thing to do is place things within a sort of classification system of elevating incongruity, right? Elevating astonishment. Higher and higher levels of mind-bending improbabilities, right? So in my work with individuals, which is like 90% of what I do, we call this funny idea the staircase of disbelief, right? And let me just explain what that is, because it's dead simple. Imagine a staircase that stretches up into the sky, into the clouds, right? And low down on that staircase are certain, certain subject matters where you can take a step on it, a little step. Let's take an easy one. JFK was not assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald, right? So let's say that's step one. So that's a conspiracy that is kind of obvious. And anyone who's just looked at that for two seconds thinks, well, he can't have done it didn't happen like that. There's something else that went on, right? Okay, well done. You've just taken your first step on the staircase, right? So you've got your foot on the first stair. You're on it, right? Let's take another one. Easy one. WMDs. Iraq did not have weapons of mass destruction capable of reaching England or America in 2003, which was used as the justification for an invasion of a sovereign nation. Weapons of mad mass deception is what was used. That's right. Weapons of mass deception. Weapons of mass destruction were not real. And, and Tony Blair and George Bush lied. And people who exposed that deceitfulness were assassinated, like Robin Cook, the British MP. He exposed that lie and they killed him. Let's say that's step two, right? <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, yeah? Sure. Um, and, and you're on the steps, and there's other ones. We could go through a, a bunch, but let's say you get the idea. Low down on the staircase, there's some slightly unbelievable ideas, but nevertheless, they are true. And once you've taken a few steps up there, you then start to get the idea that the world is not your way, the way you thought it was. And then you get, let's say, midway on the staircase, 9-11. 9-11 was not due to 19 Arab hijackers. First and foremost, because many of them have turned up alive. Fact. Go and check that out. So it, right from the start, it wasn't. And then we meet, and you and I have spoken to this woman, Judy Wood, and people like that, who have got a clear thinking head on the shoulders, who are not swayed by nonsense, not pushed by trends and popular themes, not threatened, who tells us that there's a, there's a serious problem on that day. That's a big one. That's kind of midway up the staircase, that 9-11. And it's, as you know, Mel, it's a big one, that. It's a world changer for people. So that's that's a classic, what I would call in the old days, Stargate event. Once you've moved through that Stargate of that, you know, one or two years personal study, things are never the same again, right? So let's say that's midway on the staircase. And what on the next stair, mass shootings are often faked so easy to see and prove that so easy but you see now if you haven't ascended the previous stairs you can't believe that you cannot believe the idea that um the us and uk governments operating under instructions from global empire routinely murder children and women and men to advance gun restrictions aggressive mental health care policy and a sort of, you know, increasing dependence on the state. That's unbelievable if you're not already gone up the staircase. Are you, are you with me? Oh, certainly. Right? Whereas if you have walked up some of those stairs, prior stairs, you think, well, I can imagine that, to be honest. I'll need to take a look. I'm not just going to believe it willy-nilly, just because Mel said it. But I'm going to listen to what the evidence is provided with all these different guests that talk about shootings and psyops and whatnot, and I'm going to check it out. And it really isn't very difficult to be a quality researcher. It's really not. You need to train yourself. You need to develop your sermon. It takes a while, but it's not hard. It really isn't that hard. And when you look at it, 
you see the staggering problems, particularly all the doctored photographs in Sandy Hook. Big giveaway, big, big, big giveaway. Um, another one on, that's on the midway point. The media is not fair and never has been. Never, 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 never has been. Once you start to grasp the magnitude of empire, that's, that's not too difficult to get to that, right? And then you get to another one. This is a tough one for some people because we're, we're midway. We're getting higher on the staircase now. Is it possible that we conceive of a situation where all kinds of organizations like the United Nations and the Bank of England and Black Lives Matter and anti-fa, anti-fascism, Occupy, Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, Women's March, is it possible that those groups are actually bad? that they appear to be grassroots uprisings of people wanting equity and justice. Of course, no, 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 wrong. That's not what they are. They've not arisen organically, and they do not represent reality. They are conditioning beacons, and they suck in the unwary and empty them out. They sort of amplify unreality only, um, only to create this extended extended movie this long plane movie that goes on and, on and on and on fake polarizations always fermenting division always exploiting the weakest members of society people with nothing who don't have a chance to sit back and educate themselves who don't have a chance in hell of that they have no idea. they are the foot soldiers of those groups oh wow really so all that anti-fascism stuff and all those good people who think that that's all garbage. That's right. That's garbage. All of it. All garbage. That's that's a tough place to be. If you can stomach that, then you get further up. Let's say the top part of the staircase. World War Two is almost the exact reverse situation as we've been taught in the timeline. Almost the exact reverse of everything. Who the Allied powers are, who the Axis powers are. It's almost back to front. World War Two is is one of the biggest psyops that you've ever seen in your life because of the extended period of time for it the holocaust millions of jews did millions of jews die as part of a organized final solution in gassings did that happen or did it not and then you come to other things that are more impersonal the sun and the moon they're not far away they're not what we think they are before the sun and the moon let me just mention this if that is true the holocaust did exist then why is it that the deaths that happened in the former Soviet Union, which were, it, 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 dwar it dwarfs what happened in, totally in, in, in Poland yeah. and Austria yep. and, in all those countries, Germany, why is that not publicized as much as the others? Right, exactly. That's part of like 100 things to look at about World War II. That's like number 58. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Really important, but... Do you see what I'm saying here, Mel? Because you've already taken many steps up the staircase, I can walk into your living room and say, hey, how about that Holocaust? And you're like, I know, it's crazy. I wonder what the situation is. There's so many question marks. You can do that in two seconds because you've already walked up the staircase. Even if you've only just heard that bit for the first time, stair 78 for the first time. Yeah, but don't go to Europe to question that because you'll go to jail you go to jail because people in Europe are not allowed on the staircase they're not allowed on it at all if I go down to the local coffee shop here in my uh, little town um, in in, uh, in Washington State and start talking about that some I think the police would arrive and they'd take me off in a truck you know and think well that's some sort of racial hatred thing what on earth are you talking about you anti-semite racist xenophobic bigot right. white privileged bastard what on earth are you talking about no you, you wouldn't do it because we know that no one's gone up that staircase nobody's done it you go up further the earth is not a sphere the sun and the moon are not what you think they are same size not far away there is no gravity Humans are ensouled children of divine source. And right at the top of the staircase, God is real and loves you. <sighs> that staircase, that staircase of disbelief is what allows one person to examine a thing and another person not to examine a thing. You forget, Mel, and I say this tongue-in-cheek, you forget 
how far you've already come up that staircase over the last 15 years. You forget how many steps you've taken, and you forget what giant cataclysmic paradigm shifts you've had in your own private mind, in your own heart, in your own thoughts, personally in your life, with yourself, with your family, with your friends, with your business, with the audience, with this, with everything. We forget how far we've come. And just for a second, you stop and you look down and you realize you're at the top of the staircase. You're right there thinking, anything's possible. Stair 100. Anything is possible. And there is a lot of people walking around who don't even want to take the first step. They don't want to know. And here's why. If you take, take step number one, Lee Harvey Oswald did not kill JFK. You have to go to step 100. You have to go all the way up to step 100 in due course. And deep inside, everyone knows that. And they don't want to take that journey because it's hard. It's hard. It's ugly. Blood will be spilt. People will be lost. People will disappear. People will laugh at you. People will um, take business away from you. People will mock you. People may even lock you up. So most people, they just they hover the foot over that first stair. You know, when you're just about to stand on the stair, and they think, you know what? If I take this first step in due course, in the fullness of time, I might have to go all the way to the top. Flat Earth, God. I don't know whether I can do that. I don't even know whether I want to go there. And again, I emphasize this point. Every single stair is a question mark. It's not whether this is the case or not. That's a very personal decision. We don't need to objectively agree on anything here. It's a personal journey, a personal staircase. All they are are question marks. Flat Earth, there's a lot of big important questions there. Really, really important questions. Anyone who writes that off needs the brain examining. They need to go back and get the crayons out and start again. 